Welcome all of you sauce and gravy lovers out there. This is Johnny Mac with the Sauce and Gravy channel. Are you ready for a do-it-yourself coffee dessert sauce? Well buckle up, I'm gonna show you how to make an easy homemade mocha chocolate sauce recipe. As always, start off with some prep work. You'll be excited to know that the prep work, it's not that difficult. Whip out your trusty blade, get a little choppy choppy on one bar of bitter sweet chocolate. Four ounces, 113.5 grams of 60% cacao. This is such a quick and easy recipe. It's perfect for making right on the spot. However, if you wanted to make it ahead of time, no problem. Throw it in the fridge, take it out of the fridge the next day, quickly warm it up in the microwave or on a hot water bath, and you're ready to go. Grab your handy dandy mixing bowl, put the chocolate in it, put it to the side. We'll work with these guys in a moment. Now it's time for you to put this coffee chocolate sauce together. Grab three fourths of a cup of heavy cream, 140 milliliters, pour it into a small saucepan. Of course you'll want it to be sweet, so add three tablespoons or 40 grams of dark brown sugar. To give it a power packed coffee flavor and to give you a small energy boost, instant coffee, one and a half tablespoons, five grams, dump it in. Add one teaspoon of vanilla and smash that subscribe button if you're not a member of the sauce and gravy community just quite yet so you can learn new sauce and gravy making tips and techniques. Finally, round up some salt and drop a pinch in. Turn your burner on, put it to medium to medium high heat. Give everything a mix, and here's the deal. This is what you're shooting for at this point in the process. You'll want to dissolve that sugar, the coffee, the salt into the heavy cream, and then you'll want to bring that heavy cream's temperature up so it's nice and hot, but don't boil it. Don't bring it to a boil. So you're probably wondering, how will I know whenever it's hot enough? Well, whenever it starts to steam and everything's really mixed in, you know you're good to go. Take your hot liquid off the burner and immediately pour it into your mixing bowl with those chocolate chunks. Congratulations, Gravy Nation, you're almost done. I told you this is a quick and easy recipe. There's not much to it. To help the chocolate to melt, let it sit in that warm liquid for a minute or two and then break out your whisk. Keep whisking y'all until it's well combined. And your options, as I'm sure you know, are endless with this coffee and chocolate syrup. Throw it on some cheesecake, put it on some ice cream, of course, why not? Throw it on some French toast, put it on crepes, knock yourself out. Let me give you a quick peek of this chocolate topping sauce. Let's take a look. So this is hot off the press and look how great it looks. It's rich, it's thick, it's dark, it's delicious. How about the taste? Without a doubt, it's good. Well, thank you, Sauce and Gravy Nation, for watching. I hope that you found this recipe on how to make a mocha chocolate sauce helpful. If you did, hit that like button. And remember, keep whisking, y'all.